Hello friends, I am Sunil Ranjan and I am a teacher and in this video I am going to talk about the problem that has arisen in Karnataka because of dress code and every school has a certain dress code and if the parents are not interested in following the rules of a school why do they go to the school to get their children admitted there? So when we go to any school to get our children admitted, we have to follow or and we are supposed to follow the rules set by the school. So we cannot go with our whims running on our mind. So we have to follow what the school says. And that is common for all students. So. Uh, when a, uh, when a school sets certain rules and we uh, have to follow those rules, we don't uh, need to object to their functioning. Now the thing is uh, uniform. Now uniform literally it means the same form. So children must look the same in the eyes of the teacher, in the eyes of the school and they also must feel no difference among themselves. There is no difference of high or low, rich or poor. Uh, they belong to, they have a sense of belonging to a school. So that is the idea of a uh, uniform so that all look similar and that is that becomes the dress code. Now the next thing is I sense some conspiracy. There is some serious conspiracy going on because you see what never happened earlier now it began to happen and elections are also due in Karnataka so there may be some uh, conspiracy behind all this now who is masterminding all these things uh, that is for the detective agencies of the government to find out so there must be some conspiracy because uh, it is false the educational atmosphere of a school and a wrong message uh, is flashed to the nation because of internet because of uh, a large number of tv channels the news flashes in a few seconds across the world today so i think there is some conspiracy now the next point is there are courts if the matter goes to the court Court is uh, court comprises judges and judges are simply human beings. They are not gods. They are the ones who have got that position from us only. They have gone from us only. So they are simply human beings, and whatever they, uh, whatever judgments they pass, that is based on facts. And there is no place of emotion when uh, any judgment is announced. So they are also human beings. So why, why should such cases go to the court beforehand if the case is solved uh, and the state government shows sincerity and the central government if, show, if it shows its iron hand on such things that are out to divide the society. So a leader, a strong leader always speaks on such things very boldly. Just uh, being a good orator is not enough. but and that uh, oratory must be translated into action. So whether it is at the state level or at the central level, because if the, if the leader, if the prime minister or if the chief minister does not take any action, then he or she does not deserve any right to hold that position anymore. Now, the thing is, when we are talking of uh, intolerance in our country, of course, this is a case of intolerance. but. Too much tolerance is also cowardice. So we, know, we don't need to be very tolerant, but we have to be intolerant. There must be zero tolerance in these matters. And as I was saying, there must be zero tolerance on fanaticism in our country. Because if there is zero tolerance, then only the fanatic elements, they won't be able to rise in our country so it is important to have an iron hand on them the next thing is that the tv channels they invite such people who are uh, highly fanatic of course you cannot understand whether the fellow you are inviting is fanatic or not but they must also take care that the fanatic elements don't 
become the panelists because that gives a wrong message and they are all the time shouting on the screen. They are trying to put others down with their stupid arguments. So, uh, and of course, there is some sensation that happens and these TV channels are after their TRP rating. So, they must also take care of such things. Now, what is the purpose of education? Of course, the purpose of education is the refinement of our personality, not just getting a job, but to become better human beings. And if the base is uh, fanatic, if fanatic things are uh, injected into the minds of the children, the innocent children, then they also, in the time to come, they become fanatic. So the purpose of education is lost there because education must refine our personality, we become better human beings. But if we don't become so, then what's the point in taking education or going to schools uh, to learn the things to become good human beings? The next thing is that if at all we want to have a progressive society uh, that looks up and uh, there are developments in various fields, it is important to put down such elements with an iron hand. And this, is, uh, this depends on the leadership. The leadership must not be only a very fine orator, but that oratory must translate into very strict action against such elements because then only the leader deserves the right to be the prime minister or the chief minister in real sense of a country. So I wanted to share my ideas with you. So I made this small video and spread this message of brotherhood because this sense of brotherhood is what that unites us and then we can feel proud of our country. So I made this small video to share my ideas with you and thank you. Dhanavad. Shukriya. Okay.